All right, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background on Aiden Klune, um, in case you guys don't know who he is. There's been a few people who are kind of uh, thinking Aiden and Dylan are the same thing, or, you know, I don't know, kind of getting it mixed up. So I just kind of wanted to make it clear. We've done an interview with Amy. If you want to check that out, you can check it out on our page. Um, also, the first day of the search, I kind of explain his story a little bit more, so you can check that out too. He was staying in Wells the night before. He traveled south on the 93 all the way down here to this area in the Cherry Creek Mountains. He got out of his truck around here on Highway Marker 23. There's a NDOT weather station over here. He headed west over here into this ridge line and then crossed this, uh, it's kind of like desert and pasture land for cows. And then there's this creek right here he came into and went south. This bean-shaped area right here is called the burn. Um, so he came down here. There was, I guess, a, there was a fire here, I guess, um, a few decades ago. So he came down here, went even more south down in this area that they call the Narrows, and then back up this ridge line, possibly trying to get cell phone service, and then back up here on this uh, ridge line over here. So this is the area we were searching in uh, the first day. Um, the second day we came down from this area into this uh, ridge right here, searched that ridge. This is the end of the second day in this video and we're just coming back out of this um, area over here in this ridge and we're just driving out in this road and we noticed this uh, junk area over here. So if Aiden was coming out this way, it's possible he could have been coming through this area. Yeah, so that's what that's the area we're in today is this area right in here. So, just noticed a lot of garbage over here off the side of the road. So come check it out and, I don't know, looks like a cow bone, huge cow bone right here. Some paint cans and stuff. Alcohol, bottles. Oh geez, there's some shoes right here. I think, yeah, I think uh, Aiden's were like Nikes though, and these look like, I mean, it's a black shoe, but it's not Nike for sure, it's a Velcro. That one looks like it's even bluish. Like there's more pieces to a cow right here. <clears throat> yep. There's the shoulder bones, hip, vertebrae, more vertebrae, leg. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Looks like. Toilet. Bunch of cans and stuff. Oh, teddy bear. This looks like a hood of a vehicle. dirt mound over here. Check that out. Over here, because 
they only have two shoulders so I know that's a from a different cow <laughs> there's the hip bones rib bones there's the other shoulder blade leg bones scattered here there's the jaw This looks like older structure out here. <laughs> Vid Vita Motor Oil. Vidal. Vito Char Kadam HDB Prima Engine Oil Paper Rosa hai. A Prima Bana CA4 or Laya Char Kadam Haste Haste Vito HDB Prima Engine Oil Looks about to be from like the 50s, 60s, maybe 1950s or 60s. Lead all. That's cool. Is there any left? It's all gone. No more V all. There's more V all. What the? looks like maybe a trash dumping spot for some people for generations. <laughs> huge vertebrae. Whoa. Yeah, it's huge. Old. Whoa. like it broke off I got it was like an old hoe but yeah I could find a use for that hey if I was a fisherman I'd use this like my little my hook oh that's like a little piece of like uh, ceramic or something uh, yeah oh look yeah Right here, probably an old toilet I'm touching. Yep. Uh, so after touching the toilet, I'm going to be using the hook uh, from here on out. Blender top, maybe? Some old construction right here. Wow. Look at these bolts. Whoa. Is it copper right there? Oh no, it's just paint. Thought it was copper. Pretty interesting joint right here. It's cool. <laughs> Wonder what this was used for.
boy. door the handle wow Whoa. wonder what that was used for <laughs> Looks like an old Ford Model T. <laughs> what does it say? USA Biological Society. Bureau of Biological Society. US Bureau of Biological Society. Wow. That's cool. Wonder uh, <laughs> what they think about <laughs> rotting out here in the in the in the wilderness, their uh, biological society vehicle. Trying to take care of the U.S. biology by rotting car parts in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Look how cool these wheel wells are. That's so awesome. Can you imagine. Whoa, look at that. We're standing on the side of this thing. How cool is this? When was the last time somebody stood on the side of this? Oh, look at those welds they had to use to fix it. Oh, I wonder what kind of vehicle this was. Will it stay on the trunk here? Oh, oh, oh. Use my handy dandy hook that I got. Come on, hook. Oh, we got some ant action here. Those harvester ants, they're not gonna be nice to me, are they? I wanna find out what this thing says. We must find out. Oh! Uh, because of this piece of wood? What's binding me? Nothing, it says nothing. Glass is broken. Can you see the glass from the window through here? And old Woody. Oh, cool. This is the front front of the vehicle right here. You got the seat. Oh, there must have been styrofoam on the inside of it, maybe. The steering wheel. Oh, there's the. Is this the blinker knob? Dodge! An old Dodge. Dodge Brothers. <laughs> Northeast Electronic Company. So maybe it wasn't a Dodge. Set back the dial a little bit there. Oh, look at the key. <laughs> That's awesome. A little switch here, a little knob. That thing works. Wow. This thing's cool looking. Never know what you're gonna find out here. Another door. Oh! oh. Check it out. The window is still intact. Double pane, too. Look at that. See that double pane? Nice window.
Wow. There's so much. Another door, another car. Whoa! That's a cool door. There's another door. Some more bones. This is really crazy, all the stuff out here. It's just dumped here. Wow. Old shoes. Hey. These ones are probably some of the most intact ones I've seen. The tacks on them. Wow. Look at they're brown. Look at the leather. Turn turn green. Look at that. cool. Some old clothes. Now I am to you as Marshall. The soft drinks I am partial. And this popcorn's good. Hi guys, I say it's me. If you like them, lick them, ice cream, and this ice cream, very nice cream. You buy them, and you try them, and you see. Now it's time for intermission, so let's all hit the trail, and gather around the sweet bar where these goodies are on sale. Just looking for anything, any clues. Never know. Maybe Aiden saw this too and came through here and tried to take shelter somewhere. You never know. Never know. Until you check it out. The old dolly. Old boots. Hip bone again. From a cow. Another dead cow over here. Jeez. Isn't that a pretty picture? I think uh, that, that should probably be, be the thumbnail. Right there. Perfect. Holy cow. This looks like uh, some sort of like apocalyptic wasteland out here. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, a dishwasher. It's actually not that old of a dishwasher either. That's funny. Oh, look at this. Look at this uh, video camera. This old Panasonic. Wow. <laughs> Look at this thing. Holy crap. Battery. Eject. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's pretty funny. There's garbage in that barrel. Looks like an old bike. Mm, looks like a bunch of nails. <laughs> Snowmobile. The old GP300. And a Polaris. That's funny. And 
bike. It's in pretty good shape. There's some like molten aluminum. Oh, an old uh, wash machine here. old flat screen the zenith with the stereo system even and yeah old old stuff, old stuff. oh look that's actually a fairly new bike <laughs> that's funny Now I can see why they got rid of it now. A little bit of a bend there in the frame. That's kind of a cool cabinet. What is that a stove though? Oh, it looks like a stove. See that lawnmower? Yep. Old lawnmower. Here's a message of importance to millions of people who are continually pale and washed out, weak and run down. Uh, old wash machine, that's pretty cool looking. Doctors will tell you that these conditions are often caused by a deficiency of iron. The iron you need to build healthy blood, to keep your body functioning properly, and to keep you physically fit and mentally alert. Ironized yeast tablets provide you with a simple and effective way to get the daily iron your body requires. Ironized yeast is a concentrated iron tonic combined with high potency brewer's yeast. Is it a barbecue? One of the natural sources of vitamin B1. And every daily dose of ironized yeast gives you more than your daily minimum iron requirement in a form your body can easily use and put to work. That, uh... If you feel weak, run down, and are easily upset, get new pep, vigor, and color for only a few pennies a day. Start taking ironized yeast tomorrow. Vertebrae up to the neck with the ribs. Wow. Please look away if you have a weak stomach. Por favor, mire hacia otro lado si tiene un estómago débil. This must be the place where they take their dead cows. I don't even want to go near that one. It's so st stinky. Yeah. Well, we're good. I'm good here.